Hi, greetings. Welcome to my farm. So today I just want to ask to look at uh, crop resilience. Crops can really be resilient. And this is just an update on this particular patch. I had shared a video a while ago about this patch here of uh, cabbages and uh, tomatoes. These were heavily affected by heavy rains. We had some heavy rains uh, in the recent, recently. That there was heavy flooding and, uh, you know, in most areas actually, so many people lost their, their crops. So there was a lot of uh, the crops were affected by the heavy rains. But here, thanks to some uh, good practices like the raised beds and all that, you know, we are able to save these crops and uh, we are almost now ready to harvest. You know? Like uh, these cabbages, you know, they had already started showing signs of uh, bacterial infections. There was a signs of bacterial wilt early, early enough. But uh, we, we managed to, I managed to, you know, keep that at hold, you know, to stop the spread, the disease. And actually, we want to check out the steps that we do to, you know, to, to slow down the issue of the bacterial infections. There's a video I did. I'll be sharing it in the description below. So you can check out that video on how to check, uh, to, to deal with bacterial diseases in, in the brassicas, in the cabbages. On the other hand, also the tomatoes were also heavily affected by the rains. But to some, you know, managed to... To, to control that and of course a few a few of the crops were lost you know they dried up but they managed to to replace them and you can see at the moment now the fruiting has already started and uh, in a few weeks time the harvesting will begin so that shows that you know crop can really be resilient you know like they can you know uh, be able to survive the harsh 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 weather for the cabbages they also the head formation has already started and also in a week's time or so, uh, I'll be soon be harvesting. Yeah, let's, let's actually check this out closely. Yeah, you can see the cabbages have already started uh, forming the heads. The head formation has started. Yeah, uh, I'll be almost ready in about a few weeks. In a week's time or so, be able to, to be harvesting. Yeah. As I said, you can see, still, the black rot was still there, but you're able to, to hold it, you know, to avoid the spread of the disease. And at, at least now, the heads will be viable and be able to, to be able to sell them. Yeah, you can see all this, all is good. Yeah, of course, here we can see some damage. Yeah, this, this was caused by a banana that fell on this. We, have, we had some bananas on the side of this play, of this plot. So, actually... We've been having a problem with the there's some so, some sort of some soil soil bond disease that has been affecting our bananas, and now it seems even actually to be spreading to the fruit trees, the avocados, and also even the other trees. What happens? I notice you notice that the roots started rotting, some yellowish substance, and actually the crop finally dries up and uh, you know falls off, and it's uprooted all the way from the root. You can see. That's what happened here. Yeah, that's why you can the, the damage here. This was caused by you know the banana that fell on this. But it's all good. This these cabbages will soon be harvested. Yeah, for the tomatoes, still fighting with the with blight and all that. Still, because now from the heavy rains, we are now in you know we are now experiencing the cold. This is now the cold period here in this region. So the cold temperatures, there's a lot of uh, morning dew, morning and evening dew. So still, we need to fight fighting with the you no know, blight and all that, those other diseases that affect, come up with uh, cold. But as you can see, the tomatoes are fruiting. Yeah. So at least all is not lost. Yeah. I should have given, if I'd let the, you know, the weather discourage, I would have lost this. But at least all is not lost. The, getting some harvest although it's not uh, not be as as, I, as good as what we'd have expected if all, all was okay but still we'll not lose we'll be able to get a, a return on our investment yeah whatever at least we input we'll be able to to get a return and hopefully even uh, you know make some few few few, few coins out of it So yeah, all's well that ends well. At least uh, still, the tomatoes are still flowering. So 
you're hoping for more fruit as well. So it will not be as bad. It will be a good harvest after all. Yeah, all is not lost. So that's good. At least we'll be getting something. So th that shows really quite the the crops can be quite resilient. Even these uh, sensitive crops like uh, tomatoes that are susceptible to those extreme temperature uh, weather conditions can still be able to to withstand that, and you'll be able to get something. So as long as you practice the the right the right uh, management, actually even for tomatoes, I did I had done a video. I'll also be linking as well a guide on how to, to do the tomatoes. And actually, if you follow that guide closely, you'll be able to you know, get good results. So I'll be sharing both, both the tomato guide as well as, the, as, well as the, the cabbage. So if you check on that, you'll be able to be assured of a good harvest. So thank you so much for watching. Till the next one, happy farming.